Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a short little video on how to unhook the trailer. Um, and this goes for most uh, trailers. So anyway, um, the first step is to dress appropriately. I, mean, I have a jacket on and uh, gloves are always a good idea. Um, so if you want to walk around the trailer at first and make sure that there is nothing underneath the trailer or that's going to get in the way of the trailer. Um, obviously we're still hooked up to electricity. Um, that's on purpose. Um, that's just so uh, we can still use electricity on the inside. Um, then the next thing is make sure that uh, you have your wheel chocks um, down. Make sure they have not moved and they're nice and, uh, and steady because um, you don't want the trailer to move when you take it off the, the jacks. Um, some people will have the scissor jacks in the back and the scissor jacks in the front. Um, we only have them in back, um, but we have jack stands in front. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to um, pull the scissor jacks up that are in the back. Um, and these are just for balancing. Um, you never try to lift the trailer up using these jacks because you'll break the jack. And uh, you could use an impact wrench on this. I don't like using an impact wrench on this um, because it's like really easy to damage. Um, I like just like using like a regular manual uh, wrench and you help the, um, the thing up. I also use these like the yellow chocks that you can see here um, because it's um, you don't have to uh, ratchet as much. And once again, you just get them out of the way. Um, those things you also can use to level the trailer side to side. And on this side, it's the same exact thing on this side. Um, and I'm just gonna try to set the, trailer, the camera down so you can see it. Same exact thing. This one has a lot less. Um, but I always try to put the little yellow things down just so I don't have to ratchet it very far. And you just want them tight enough that they don't move. Here we go, that one doesn't move. I'm gonna get this out of the way of the trailer. So now you can see we have the rear of the trailer free. You can see straight through it. However, we're still on our, uh, our jack stands over here. So to get off these jack stands, you just have to lift the trailer up with a knob or sometimes there's like an electric button that you push here. And uh, we just want to lift it up enough that we can get it off the jack stands. And that looks sufficient. So we can just pull the jack stands out from under the trailer. And I like trying to set everything in the same spot so you don't forget anything or forget that something's in a, somewhere or other when you're trying to um, unhook. There goes Going Coastal, they're heading out. There's Sebastian. All right. So the next thing is you need the appropriate trailer hitch on your trailer. Um, I'm gonna throw mine on real quick. So this is a solid drop hitch. Drop hitch just means it goes, it takes it lower, put it through, and then you're gonna have a pin. They call it this hitch pin. This is what it looks like, it's a hitch pin. The hitch pin through the hole. Just like that. Pin in the hitch pin, hold it in place, and now your hitch pin is in place. The next step is going to require um, the wife to assist. We will. Um, I have these little extensions that I use. You may or may not need them, um, but I need them because my cables are not long enough, um, and I only need like a little bit. So you'll see what I do with those in a second or two. Um, but that's for the safety chains. We'll crank this up just a little bit more just to be a thousand percent sure that we are the right height. We just need to be above the video. And now we are good to go to get some assistance. I'm backing in. Little more driver. You went passenger there, okay.
Little bit, come back. Stop. All right, that's good enough. So the ball has to be on the front side, not the back side. If it's on the back side, and this has to be up. Um, if it's on the back side, this will like lock up and you won't be able to get it in. So, you know, the, the trailer will slide onto the ball like it just did, even if you're not perfectly lined up, and that was perfect, uh, perfectly lined up. But if we were not perfectly lined up and it was sitting on the back side, you just get in the G, the vehicle, and you just move the, the like take your foot off the brake for a second, and the vehicle will, will slide forward just in, enough that you hear a little crank. Um, to know that you've moved to the front of the ball. Um, and that, that makes it so you can actually easily do this. It won't do that if, uh, um, if you're on the back side. So you just lower it down, and then um, you put a key or something through it to make sure that it won't come back up. And then on ours, you have to lift it back up because we have to put the weight distribution on. And the farther up you crank it, the easier it is to put the weight distribution on. So we're raising the suspension up on the Jeep and we're also raising up the height on the trailer. That's probably enough. Um, and I'll do this side really quickly and then on that side I'll like, do it in detail. So these bars or chains are very dangerous. Um, when the trailer's down, you have to force it on. Um, so you just put the lower part, you know, with the lower hole, you pull a little pin up, put it in there and you put it on and you see how easy that is they give you this tool here that I don't even really remember how to use uh, you go like this and you force it on um, when it's low but the thing is like if you're forcing it on with this tool if it jumps off it'll break your arm or break your leg like it is that strong um, so you always just lift the trailer up so then it doesn't have that force behind it and then it'll make it super super easy and super super safe for you to put on then you put your little locking little L's on. They go over it so obviously it doesn't want to jump off. L like that, like that. Um, it loops over. And do the same thing to the other side. To get these on, you have to be straight. If the Jeep um, is not lined up straight with the vehicle, you don't want to put these on. And if you think you're going to be making sharp turns, you don't want to put these on. So sometimes people will put these on later on. Then uh, your brake line. We can, unhook, well, we can go down. The brake line and the lights um, are not allowed to loop through things. There's only one spot on the trailer that they're allowed to loop through legally. And we're just gonna go down. That way there's no tension on the, this thing. All right, that's good enough for now. And so what I do is I loop them through the eye here and it is completely legal to loop it through this eye here. Um, and that's the only place that you're allowed to loop it through. So we loop it through this eye. And I don't know all the state laws, maybe it's different in some states. Um, it did not get looped. There we go. But I loop it through the eye. Some people use a lock at this point. Some people use a little like clasp. Um, I don't know where my clasp is, so I'm just using a lock. Then uh, um, this is for the brake line. You just attach it to something, it's solid. And then on this, um, <clears throat> there's a flat spot on the top. The flat top bottom on the top goes on the top. Very easy. It always lines up. And this will clap, like, click in and hold it in place. Uh, make sure that there's slack here. So then when you make turns, it doesn't like bind up. Then I have to use these little extensions here for my safety chains. You're supposed to make a little cradle. So they're supposed to go kind of like across. Um, it's like the preferred method. But uh, like mine never really cradle right. So um, I don't really fiddle with the cradling, but that's what is preferred. And you hook your safety chains. Um, a lot of vehicles, the safety chains will go directly onto the hitch. Um, mine, like to get the right amount of uh, slack in them so I can make turns, um, goes in the other part. So at this point, we just need to worry about getting this up. And then we can just remove our wheel chocks and we're ready to go basically and unhook the electricity. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to test your lights before you leave. Get this to go up. And I always push stuff out from under the trailer so I can clearly see. And I make little piles so all this stuff is in the same spot. Um, all my tools are right there. I leave that down so it doesn't hit the tire. Yep, emergency blinkers.
and then just point it safe through the wheel chocks if you want. And then obviously before you leave, always do one last walk around because you will always forget something and whatever you forget will be really dangerous. Like you'll forget to unhook the electrical or forget to unhook something that you left, like the step here. Um, so always do one last rock walk around before you leave. Uh, but that's how we hook up our trailer.